हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अन्ना साहिब गोराने टुडे वी परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ साइंस दैट इज रेजोनेंस ट्यूब द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड इन एयर एट रूम टेम्परेचर एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अननोन ट्यूनिंग फोर्क यूजिंग रेजोनेंस ट्यूब एपरेटस इज अ जार फील्ड विथ वॉटर ट्यूब और पाइप ओपन एट बोथ एंड्स stand a set of tuning forks rubber pad vernier caliper to measure the inner diameter of the tube a meter scale etc we measure the velocity of sound in air by the formula v is equal to 4 into nl mean and unknown frequency of the tuning fork by formula nx is equal to nl mean mean value of nl upon lx the principle of this experiment is the tube open at both ends is dipped vertically in a jar containing water so that its one end is closed and air column is formed in the tube if vibrating tuning fork is held near the open end of the tube and if we raise or lower the tube the length of air column changes at particular length of the air column the frequency of vibration of air column becomes exactly equal to frequency of vibration of tuning fork air column begins to vibrate with maximum amplitude emitting a loud sound the condition is resonance and we measure the resonating length by adding the end correction we measure the corrected length and uh, we find the value uh, nl mean frequency into length Uh, that calculations and then lastly we find nl mean and by using this formula we find the velocity and unknown frequency now we see the experimental setup hello students uh, this is resonance tube apparatus uh, this is jar filled with water uh, this is the resonance tube this is stand uh, by using vernier caliper uh, we measure uh, the inner diameter of the tube by using these upper jaws and here uh, by using upper jaws we measure the inner diameter see here here this main scale is 3 cm and vernier scale is 0 so our reading is main scale reading is 3 cm plus vernier scale reading is Zero into LC of vernier caliper. We know it is zero point zero zero one. So this is three centimeter. So inner diameter of the tube is three centimeter. End correction is point three D. That is zero point three into three. And this inner diameter. of the tube is 0.9 cm by measuring the inner diameter we find the end correction end correction is 0.9 cm now we take the readings firstly tuning forks are arranged in the descending order of frequencies see here uh, this is our observation table we arrange the frequencies in descending order firstly 480 hertz then 426 320 288 then we take the reading for the unknown frequency we take three readings for each tuning fork and find its mean uh, then corrected length capital l is small l plus e then we find one upon l and then nl firstly we take the tuning fork 480 hertz take three readings for it then 426 320 in the descending order and last one is our uh, unknown tuning fork now see here readings this is our first tuning fork having frequency 480 hertz 480 hertz okay now uh, we strike this tuning fork on rubber pad 
like this and raise the tube till we hear a maximum sound. See here, here we hear a maximum sound. We fix the tube, see once again. Maximum sound is heard, it means the frequency of this vibration of tuning fork is same as frequency of vibration of air column. Air column begins to vibrate with maximum amplitude and we measure the length of air column above the water surface. And see here, uh, this length is 17 centimeter, 17. In this way, uh, we take the three readings for the same tuning fork. Now we take the next tuning fork having frequency 426 hertz. Again, we do the same procedure for 426 hertz. We fix the tube. See here, maximum sound is heard. We measure the resonating length. Here again, see this resonating length is 19 centimeter above the water surface. 19 centimeter. See once again, 19 centimeter. We write these readings here. For 480, our reading was 17. Our reading was 17 centimeter. We take two more readings. For 426, our reading is 19 centimeter. In this way, we take the readings for next tuning fork, uh, that is 320 hertz then 280 hertz for 320 see the readings 320 hertz See here, maximum sound is heard. See again. We measure the length. And see, that length is 26 centimeter. 26. Again, for the next tuning fork, this reading is 26 centimeter for 320. Then for 288, we take readings for the 288. Again, we raise the tube. When we hear a maximum sound, we fix it. Maximum sound is heard here. We measure the length again and see that length is 29 centimeter see here 29 for 288 we take two more readings for all this and lastly we take the readings for unknown tuning fork <laughs> suppose this tuning fork frequency is unknown to us See here, maximum sound is heard. We measure the length of air column here again. And see here, this length of the air column is 
24 centimeter. 24. So our last reading is for unknown our reading is 24 centimeter. Okay. Hello students. These are the observations for uh, list count of vernier calipers in resonance tube experiment. Uh, you know smallest division on main scale of vernier caliper is uh, x that is 0 0.1 cm. Total number of divisions on the vernier scale of the vernier caliper suppose that is y 10 divisions are there. Hence list count of vernier caliper is x upon y and that is 0.01 centimeter. Now we have performed the experiment and these are our observations. These are our observations. This is observation table in resonance tube experiment. Uh, frequencies are in descending order. Last one is the unknown frequency of the tuning fork. And these are our observations. For first tuning fork having frequency 480 the length of air column is 17 centimeter by adding end correction in it end correction is 0.3 d that is the diameter inner diameter of the tube that is 0.9 17 plus 0.9 that is 17.9 similarly for 426 hertz tuning for uh, these are the readings we have already taken the readings for 320 hertz these are the readings for 288 hertz and this last one is a reading for the unknown tuning fork. By adding the end correction, uh, these are our values. This LX is the corrected length for the unknown frequency, resonating column for the unknown frequency. Then by reciprocal table, we find 1 upon EL. And uh, this value is multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2, 5.58. 1 upon 17.9 that is 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 centimeter raised to minus 1 1 upon 19.9 this is the value similarly reciprocal of this number is this these all values are multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 unit is centimeter raised to minus 1 and then we perform the calculation of n into l uh, calculations are like this we see the calculations of ENL, N into L. See here, ENL calculations. Our first value of N is 480 and its resonating corrected length is 17.9. Multiplication, so uh, addition of the log, anti-log, first value of ENL is 8592 hertz centimeter. Similarly, for second reading of tu uh, frequency tuning for 426 hertz, resonating length is, corrected length is 19.9. Uh, so, this is the calculation. Our answer is 8478 hertz centimeter. For the third, uh, these are the calculations. Our answer is 8608 hertz centimeter. And for fourth tuning fork of 288 hertz, the corrected length is 29.9 centimeter and by solving this, uh, this ENL is 8612 hertz centimeter. Now we find the mean of all these ENL by adding this all 4 divided by 4, this addition is like this upon 4, this is the mean of ENL that is 8572.5 hertz centimeter. Then by using our formula velocity of sound in air v equal to 4 into nl of mean mean of this nl and that is 34290 centimeter per second. Then unknown frequency of tuning fork nx is mean nl upon lx substituting the values and by solving using the logarithm uh, that unknown frequency of tuning fork is 344.3 hertz. Now we plot the graph. See here, this is our graph. 
origin is 0 0 this horizontal is x axis this is y axis on x axis uh, we plot uh, frequency and on y axis reciprocal of length these all values are multiplied by 10 raise to minus 2 scale on x axis is 1 centimeter is equal to 30 hertz on y axis the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 2 centimeter raise to minus 1 then we plot the four points for different value of frequency and one upon L. Uh, these are our four different points. See here, uh, this is the first point for 480, 480 hertz, this one, and corresponding one upon L is 5.58 into 10 raised to minus 2 here. This is our second point for 426 hertz. Corresponding reciprocal of the length is 5.02 into 10 raise to minus 2. Third point for 320 hertz frequency. This is fourth point for 288 frequency. The graph is straight line passing through the origin. And we find the unknown frequency of the tuning fork uh, by plotting this line for unknown frequency LX is 24.9 and its reciprocal is 4.02 into 10 raise to minus 2, CM raise to minus 1. This is 1 upon L for unknown frequency. We draw this dotted line up to this uh, straight line and again we draw the projection from this on this frequency axis or X axis. Uh, this line touches here 348 hertz. So this is our unknown frequency by the graph frequency of the unknown tuning fork by the graph now we take any two points on the graph for the slope this is first point its x coordinate is 360 x1 is we call it as x1 360 and its y1 is 4.20 into 10 raise to minus 2 similarly the second point x coordinate is 450 and y coordinate is 5.25 into 10 raise to minus 2 we call this as x1 y1 and this as x2 y2. Then see our calculations from the graph. See here. Slope of graph is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Therefore, 1 upon slope will be reciprocal of this. That is x2 minus x1 upon y2 minus y1. Substituting that values and by solving, uh, this is the slope of the graph. Velocity of sound by the graph is V is equal to 4 into 1 upon slope of the graph. This is this total value is 1 upon slope of the graph. So 4 multiplied by 90 upon 1.05 into 10 raise to 2. This 19 to 4 is 360 upon 1.05 into 10 raise to 2. By solving this using the logarithm log 360 minus log 1.05, our anti-log is 342.9. And already there is 10 raise to 2. This is 342.90, 34,290 uh, cm per second. So this is velocity of sound by the graph. Now see our results. Our first result is speed of sound in air at room temperature. By calculations, this is our value. 34,290 centimeter per second or in meter per second it is 342.9 meter per second. By graph our value of speed of sound in air is 34,290 centimeter per second and uh, by uh, in meter per second this is 342.9 uh, meter per second. See here by calculation and graph our values are exactly same. This is one main thing. Our values are exactly same. There is no any difference. And lastly, our unknown frequency of tuning fork uh, by calculation, that unknown frequency is 344.3 hertz. And by graph, uh, that is near about that. That is 348 hertz. Uh, then we write some precautions. Okay, we stop here. Thank you.